Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'll be talking about flow control in Helm 3. So in my previous video, I have just spoken about uh, template functions and pipelines. So please do have a look into that before watching this video. I'll leave a link in description. Coming to this video, so I'm going to talk about uh, control structures, which provides a template author or a developer or you uh, who is working on a Helm charts the ability to control the flow of uh, template generation. So if I want to give a simple example, like let's say, depending on uh, Helm command, so you want to uh, have some block. If it is Helm install, you need to have a particular block. So if it is Helm upgrade or a, uh, something else, so then you don't want to have that particular block. So then by using some objects, uh, uh, kind of like dot release object, in that we will be having a object. So that is called as ease install or something. So by using that, uh, so you can verify whether it is an install or an upgrade. So on top of that, uh, by taking that value, so you can insert or uh, you can take off that particular block. Okay. So that is a, a simple example, but um, in uh, real time scenarios, you might come across many other scenarios. Okay. So there are uh, basically three control structures I'm going to discuss in this video. So first one is uh, if else for creating the conditional blocks. And the next one is with to specify the scope and the third one is a range so which provides a for each style loops in template language okay first we will see if else so uh, if else is basically conditionally including the block of text in the template so this is bas basically what if else will do uh, so the basic structure is simple so it is like you can compare it with other languages how it has if else so which is the same way uh, here we have if else okay so here i can i would have taken variable only so but in my case i'll be using few functions and just like uh, verifying it whether is it is it is equal to or uh, like i'll do some manipulations so i just wanted to show you like we can use pipelines also uh, in that like if condition okay so and also one more thing i wanted to let you know so that a pipeline is evaluated to false means uh, this value if I'm using as a pipeline so if I specify any pipeline so which is set to false when a boolean uh, so boolean obviously will can have uh, true or false so if it is false so then this particular pipeline is set to false if a numeric value is zero so then that pipeline is set to a false okay so string is empty even then uh, that time also so we will make sure that pipeline is set to false and if the collection uh, like map, slice, tuple, uh, dictionary, or array uh, is some um, empty collection, so then again, uh, we will set that particular one to false. Okay. So we will see the basic examples. Okay. So I have a repo wherein I've already posted. So this is a flow control folder. So you can, if you want to uh, do this simple examples in your local system also, you can clone this one and you can practice it. Okay, so the folder name is uh, flow control. Under that, I have uh, if underscore else range with so these three folders. So first, we will see if underscore else. Okay, so I have already cloned here, so you can see the same folder structure. So first, what we will do? So we will do a dry run, Helm install, and then uh, we need to give iPhone iPhone debug, iPhone iPhone dry run. We need to specify the name also in Helm 3. My app and I need to give the folder where my charts are present, so which is basically if else. And um, I have two examples, so I'll just explain it to you. Okay. Before that, I just wanted to do a dry run. Okay. So if you see uh, this particular one, so let me close this one. So now we were discussing about if else example one, right? If you see here, uh, there is something called as, I did some changes, I guess, for this one. So let me ignore all the changes. Uh, so, so that.
So now if I do a git status, yeah, nothing is there. And again, if I open my particular folder, yeah, now if you see, yeah, all the changes that I've did, it is ignored. So this is very simple. I've taken very simple example. So if uh, equal, I've used equal function. So what it does, it will just verify whether to whatever the values I've given as equal or not. In my case, so it is compared with dot values dot favorite trick with the string coffee. Okay. So now we have already uh, did a dry run. So it has generated. So now if you see that particular tag, uh, this particular mug uh, colon tr uh, true is not visible here, right? So this is basically uh, be in my values dot yml. If you see, so I have um, drink uh, coffee which has only one e in it. So that's the reason I guess it is not coming. So what I'll do, I'll do a quick changes. So vi uh, if else and others uh, I have. Uh, values dot example i have two folders under it right? and then values dot yaml so let me change this particular one and then i'll just insert one more e so when i run dry run again so now you'll be able to see the particular mug okay now if you see here so this is not readable at all because the condition in the same line and the value that should be templated like um, if this particular condition is true so then this particular value should be there right so everything in the single line a single line itself which is not more readable so if you want to make more readable so then what you need to do is you need to do like this right so then it makes you um very calming which is very comfortable to read and if someone is looking to your charts so it is very easy to understand also okay for that i have uh, one more example and also you need to make sure so the spaces are very important so for that only i have uh, example two folder right if you see now so if you don't maintain the spaces properly so it there are chances like it will gonna fail so if you see here so i have not um maintained the uh, mug this uh, whatever the mug tag as right i have given extra two spaces so when i run this particular one so let me run drug give a dry run and then how it works so again the same problem so coffee i'll change that particular value sorry for that i would have changed before now i have changed it so when i do a so dry run it says like did not find the expected key so that means you are violating yml syntax here so so that's the reason it is telling you, you're not able to error in converting yml to json okay if a value if a key has already a value so then you can't uh, declare that as a list or a map so you are violating yml that's the reason it is failing okay so um, now if you want to uh, correct this one so you just need to take off these uh, two spaces so let's quickly go ahead and uh, do that change under templates folder i have uh, functions.yml i need to change that particular one under this so let's save this one again dry run so this should work perfectly okay now if you observe there is an extra line which has been um, introduced between my uh, foot tag and a mug tag because of uh, this particular thing only so anyway i have taken this two spaces right because of this particular condition only but uh, when it evaluates so this thing will be eliminated but there is a space this side and also this side right so these two spaces will be not taken off by helm so that is the reason you can uh, you 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 are able to see extra line which is which is blank basically okay so to take off that there are a couple of methods so one is you can use uh, this particular way uh, if you specify this um 
uh, this particular character so then it is taken up that particular uh, thing is taken up that uh, empty line with the spaces is taken off and if you use the stars in your uh, yml files then again now you can take off this particular the space empty line okay so i don't want to show in this video so you can just like uh, so this is how to eliminate a, a particular empty line so you can use the stars or this particular one so i've already coded that one so if you want to execute this particular one you can just uh, comment this particular part and you can execute it okay and also one more thing i wanted to tell you so helm commenting okay so there are two types of commenting in helm so one is uh, yml uh, commenting so when you use this i symbol so as you can see in the output dry run so even that values are evaluated if you see uh, values dot um, whatever you have given right even those things are evaluated correct so if you want to if you don't want to evaluate these things and if you want to keep it like uh, out of execution so there is another uh, way of uh, commenting our uh, helm templates so i'll show that um, particular thing while discussing the next control structure okay so this is about if else so the next one is uh, with the with con with control structure uh, it is basically used to control the variable scoping so by default the variable variable scoping is dot if you see my previous videos, I have uh, spoken about uh, objects in Helm, uh, which are uh, basically uh, release, chart, values.yml, and many more files. Many more are there. All these uh, objects will be there under uh, dot object only. When you want to use it in your templates, in previous example, we have seen now, uh, when you want to access that particular one, you need to use this dot. Again, the object which you want to use, in values to, uh, object, you will be having all the values which is specified in not uh, values dot yml, right? So under that, if you want to specify uh, any sub objects like favorite, under that again you are taking drink. Okay, this is how you will specify. So let's say in my case there are uh, ten objects. So this particular thing will be repeated all ten values under this particular object. So it, there is no sense in de declaring all 10 times like you need to copy and paste it right so so in that case there is um, a control structure with by which we can use uh, we can play with uh, variable scoping okay if you see with the example so then you will uh, get a good idea so the syntax is very simple so which is similar to if statement so with i claim a restricted scope and the hand and you can exchange between many scopes like uh, one scope if you want to have a particular uh, block in one scope so then you can uh, do that one and when end comes so that particular scope is taken off and then again it is reset to dot okay the dot means all the objects are available in it. okay so let me show an example this one So with uh, this also, I have a simple config map. And let me open one more view, wherein I'll place values.yml. This is my values.yml favorite drink, uh, food. So drink is equated to coffee and uh, food is for pizza, okay? If you remember in my previous example, I've used ash uh, for commenting. So even though it is not there, uh, it is not for, so I've just commented for not, not to be executed. But I already mentioned there are two types of commenting. So if you use a hash, even uh, still it is not a part of code, but it, it is still verified, okay, validated and it is like rendered and then it is shown in the screen also. If you have any errors in that comment also, YML comment, then even then your charts will gonna fail, okay. So this is another type of commenting so uh, template commenting so when you use this one so this is not taken into account when the uh, charts are template rendered basically okay now i have a uh, api version simple file again kind config map and the name is uh, release.name and if you see this is where uh, we need to concentrate now so with i have defined the scope my scope whatever i want to do uh, in this statements in that particular block will have only access to this favorite block okay 
if I have something like this, city or like um, country, under this, um, if I have state, city, If I have something like this, so it it won't be able to access this particular object in inside this block because my uh, particular scope is set to dot values dot favorite. So whatever the there under this particular object, I'll be able to access only that. Okay, so by which I I I am able to see. Uh, I I'm um, duplicating the things like I'm not duplicating here. I'm just taking off all that. Uh, so it should be like this. In my previous example, it was like this, right? I'm taking off those things. So to make your code better, so you can go with uh, this width and range. Okay. So this is how you can um, set your scope uh, to a particular object. So by which we won't be able to access another object um, in the same scope. So let's let's do a dry run and then we will validate it. Width. And I do this one now. You can see it is similar to the previous one, but uh, the thing is, we have just did a uh, little more changes to make our charts look better. Okay, by using width and range, that's what like you can make your charts more um, readable, and which, which is you are reducing the duplicate things by using width and range and rules structures. Okay, so now one more thing I wanted to discuss. When you are set to your scope to dot values dot favorite, in that you won't be able to access other objects. Uh, uh, like if you 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 don't be able to access this country, and if you want to have some release name in your uh, this particular scope, so that is not possible at all. Okay, so there is a workaround workaround uh, by using variables. So you can declare it globally. So then you can use that variable inside this. But by using width only, it is not possible. So we will do that in a particular a small change in functions dot uh, yml of uh, width and then I'll show you how it fails. And then here templates functions dot yml. I'll do a insert. I'll take this particular line. Take it here. When I do uh, this one, it should fail because your current scope is set to this particular object, and you are trying to access which is nothing related to that uh, release dot name in this particular object. So dot release is under dot scope, right? That's the reason you won't be able to access that particular one. It will make sure it fails. Okay. So when you take off this particular one uh, from this particular uh, block, and one more thing need to be uh, discussed here is uh, when you specify the scope, right? When it comes to end, so this particular uh, dot values dot favorites is uh, reset to dot. Means in that dot we we will be again able to access all other objects. So this is what I mentioned in the last point. You can uh, always like uh, jump onto another uh, scopes. Okay, once that is done. So now we will do a small change. So to correct this particular uh, release dot team, that small change is uh, I'll just take off this particular line and then insert it after the end. So now end will reset my scope to dot right. When I use that uh, release after that end, so I'll be able to see this particular value. When I save this one, again, if I do a dry run, now it will be validated and it is rendered. Now you'll be able to see the release name. Okay. So this is how uh, you can make your code better by using uh, with control structure. Okay.
now we will jump on to the next uh, control structure which is basically a range so range is also one of the control structure so many programming languages have support for looping using uh, for loops and for each loops right like that only in templates also we have a range function so by using a range in a helm template template so we can loop over uh, multiple values okay so we will see a simple example for that also let me close this thing here values.yml let me open another window there also here let me open this yml now if you see i have uh, values.yml which is changed for me now under pizza so i have uh, pizza toppings so i want to loop through all these variables so it is very simple in helm uh, so if you want to loop through any uh, values so then you can go ahead and you can use a range okay as this is a demo i'm just taking a simple example so you can loop over any maps or dictionaries you can do whatever by using range okay. i'm specifying the scope uh, dot values dot pizza topics and then after that i'm using a dot because in this on this particular object only i need to loop for right so then i'm passing it to a title uh, which is um, a case um, a string related uh, function okay and then i'm supplying it to a code so which gives a double quotes for my string okay so i just wanted to show so range function is uh, basically used to loop over uh, loop over any uh, values which are under a particular tag now let's go ahead and uh, let's run this one a dry run range now as you can see it is looped over and it has been uh, properly rendered okay so this is how so by using width uh, and range we can make our code uh, better and also by using if else or uh, depending on uh, particular conditions you can uh, take a particular block of statements okay so these are the control structure i wanted to discuss in this particular video so if you have liked the video please share and subscribe thank you have a good day